So now I'm going to demonstrate how to use the ARC tools to uh, reproduce these arch forms here. Uh, so let's start with the first one, Roman or round arch. Um, so how am I going to do this? Well, I'm going to, I'm only going to demonstrate, I'm only going to demonstrate the actual arch, not the whole shape. I'm going to use my two point arc here. Remember, this is the one that works like a line that I pull between two fingers. So what I have to figure out is where my edges are. Let's say it's right here, and then right here. And then I just pull um, to make my arch. That was easy enough. Uh, let's look for some more that work in the same way, but produce a different arch. Well, I think the flat or half um, arch works in the same way. Two points, and I pull up. I just pull up a little bit less. The horseshoe actually works in the same way, because remember, I, I pull until I make a circle. So I, I have to find my two edges, and I pull, 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 until I can make the arch. Um, now the rest of these are a little bit more complicated um, because one of the things in SketchUp that you're going to have to figure out when you have to draw a curve is how many curves do I actually have to draw? Here we've only been drawing one curve. Um, but in most of these other examples, we actually need to make more than one curve to be able to replicate our arch. So the trick is to find out how many curves you need to uh, use in your drawing. So let's start with this gothic or pointed arch. Um, you will notice that this um, arch is actually made up of two curves, one curve here and one curve here. Actually, they're mirror images of each other. So. Right now, I'm going to just demonstrate how to do them freehand. And then uh, later on, I'm going to demonstrate, um, in the next tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to make a mirror image of a curve. But for here, we're just going to do freehand. So I'm going to find my, well, the same thing we've always been doing. I have to find my two edges. So my edge one is about here. My edge two is about here. And then I pull until I have roughly the right um, curve. You'll notice that SketchUp wants to snap to this position. That's yeah. quite annoying. I mean, SketchUp wants to snap to things all the time. So if you're having trouble, you can just zoom in um, until you find a scale that SketchUp can work with, where it doesn't have to struggle so much, or it, it doesn't want it doesn't snap to things that you don't want it to. And then I just do the same thing again. So click here, click. Um, well, roughly here and click here. There we go. Our Gothic or pointed arch. Let's scroll back out. Um, let's do the clover leaf now because the clover leaf, we're going to use the same tool, but in this case, we now need three curves instead of just two. So same tool again, uh, two point arc which is, as I've said, is the one that I use almost always. Um, so point, point, um, curvature, point, point, curvature. You'll notice when I just did this, let me go back one. Um, I'm When I'm going back one, when I'm erasing what I'm doing, what I'm doing is I'm actually pressing Command Z which is the shortcut on my Mac for um, undo the last move. So um, you'll notice that when I click here and when I click here, SketchUp is drawing a line in between the two points already, which is not at all the line that I want. Don't worry about that. That is just SketchUp lining up um, a curve that it thinks that you might want to draw, but it's not going to actually draw anything until you click a third time. So. Don't be worried about that. Just trust that you you have the right tool. And uh, just like the snapping to uh, specific points, you're not actually going to do what it thinks you want to do. There you go. So you've got your clover leaf now with three arches, three arcs. OK, now that we've done that, we've got um, 
some slightly more complicated ones. Um, let's go with the OG next. The OG is actually made up of four curves. We have one curve going this way, one curve going that way, and then again on the other side, curve going this way, curve going that way. So that's actually four curves. So it looks a bit more complicated, but once we figured out that it's four curves, it's very easy. It's the same thing we've been doing the whole time. Curve, find the, find the points where it shifts. It's about here. Uh, curve, point, point. Look, this time it's a little bit more helpful what it's giving us. SketchUp's default. And again, well, I say that, but I have to zoom in to choose my angle more carefully. 